Well, hey, how are you? My name is Marla, and I represent Osborne Books and More. There are few greater gifts in life than giving our kids a love for reading. I was just listening to The Strangest Secret in the World. Do you know what the strangest secret in the world is? A hundred men and women are struck even at age 25. By age 65, one will be rich. Four will be financially independent. Five will still be working. And 54 will be broke. So do you know what success is? Success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. And do you know what's the problem today with many people? It's conformity. Most people are broke and most people are dependent on other people to make a living. Let me ask you a question. Why do you work? Comment below and let me know. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to do it deliberately and decide today what is it that you want. What? If you're going to become a stay-at-home mom, well then do it and do it deliberately. If you're going to be the best lawyer, if you're going to be a lawyer, then be a lawyer and do it deliberately and be the best lawyer. If you're going to be a homeschool mom or dad, then do it deliberately. But decide today what it is that you want because success is just that. It's doing what you want deliberately. One thing that I have been thinking about lately is that selling is the world's highest paid position. The other thing that I've been thinking about is that far too many of us live on fear. Michael Moore brought something to light and it is that 95% of people live paycheck to paycheck. Which one of those people are you? We become what we think about and the question is what do you think about? Everything begins with an idea. And boy, do I have ideas. <laughs> I just gotta get them to action. <laughs> no, seriously, um, all things are possible if you believe. And if you think negative things, well, you're gonna get negative results. But if you think in the positive terms, you will get positive results. Got a lot of fear inside of you? If you've got anxiety or you're nervous, and believe you me, it took me five years to get over my negative thinking, you're going to get just that. You're gonna get what you fear about. You're gonna get what you're nervous about. You're gonna get what you're anxious about come to you. You're gonna get those results. But if you believe in people, if you believe in their goodness, if you believe in yourself and the good that you can share with others, you're gonna get those results. Here's a little bit of Bible truth. Um, as you sow, you reap. So what does that mean? It's in the Bible, it's in on the proverb, Proverbs. I don't know which proverb number it is right now, which reference, but you can look it up. Um, if the goal is confusion, you're going to get confusion. If you sow positive so thoughts, you're going to reap positive thoughts. If you sow goodness, you're going to reap goodness. That's my wisdom for today. Here's another truth that I just discovered, and I'm 46, so please listen to my wisdom. Everything worthwhile is, is free. Everything worthwhile wild is free. Familiarity breeds contempt. So what do I want you to take away from this? I want you to take this. Control your thinking. Control your life. If you're just going to be doing a job, do it. 
because you want to do it. Do it because you like to do it. Your limitations are self-imposed. Let your mind soar. Let your mind imagine. And as you're doing it, save 10% of whatever you earn because that's how the wealthy become wealthy. And as you sow, you will reap. And think positively on your own problem and you will solve your problem. Let your mind think creatively. As Marie Forleo likes to say, everything is figure outable. You must become what you think about. Stop thinking about your fear. Think positive. Don't let petty things annoy you. Our return is in direct proportion with the service you give. Speaking about service, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you about how to raise readers. <laughs> you know what, let's take a break and let's dance, okay? Get off your butt and dance. All right, I'll see you later. Until tomorrow, talk to you later, soon. Until tomorrow, please don't forget to visit my website, okay? And shop for some books for your kids. That's the only thing in life that's going to help them be who they want to be. Until tomorrow.